All right, so this is the instruction manual for this solar charge controller. It's a uh, rated for 20 amps. Um, all I've got is a 30 watt solar panel on the roof. This should be plenty, plenty of controller for the solar panel. But all this solar stuff can be really confusing and I'm not a master by no means, but I just wanted to see if I could help clarify a few points. So, let's see if you can see this. So, th these are the different displays on the charge controller. So first we've got the main display, which shows that the solar panel is or isn't charging the battery, what level the battery is at, and the load. Um, and you can turn the load on or off. Um, and this is the current voltage of the battery. So that's the first display. Then we've got the float voltage display. So this is the default, but you want to set this voltage at the voltage you want the battery to stay at. Then this next screen is discharge reconnect. So actually let, let me explain this one first because it's out of order so when there's a load on the solar charger controller it's pulling a lot of power this this is the discharge stop so if the load is pulling so much power off the battery that the battery goes down to 10.7 volts solar charge controller will turn off the load so it won't use any more of the battery and it will disconnect so then that brings us to the discharge reconnect. Once it stops the load, it'll have the solar panels or whatever is charging the battery um, start to charge. And once the, the battery reaches this voltage, 12.6, as a default, you can change this, um, then it will allow the load to start being utilized again. Um, once the battery re reaches the 12.6 volts. So, nice safety feature there. Now the work mode, it's set at 24 hours. In other words, the load on the that's coming from the charge controller can be used 24 hours a day, or um, you can set it to between one and 23 hours, so its load is on after sunset and dozed after setting hours or zero hours, which means it'll be working from dusk to dawn. I just leave it 24 hours because, I mean, I the only load I'm gonna be using is when I'm gonna be around and I can watch the battery close. And then the battery type, honestly, I have no idea what that means. But anyways, this is kind of the, the interface of, of the system. So, if we look at the charge controller, Here's the solar panel charging the battery, here's the battery level, and here's the load, um, which is turned to on. So I can actually press this button and that will turn the load off. Anyways, and we can see that the battery voltage currently is 12.4 and the solar power panel is charging the battery. Anyway, so cycling through the menu, here we've got the float charge. As I said before, it's at 13.7. Here's the discharge reconnect at 12.6. Discharge stop, I moved it up to 11 volts because just to be more safer. Um, I didn't wanna, I don't wanna take any chances ruining the battery at all. Um, then after a discharge stop is the work mode and I just leave it at 24 hours because I'll be here all the time when I'm using it. And that's battery type and and that's the whole menu. Um, so I, I hope that helped. Um, once again, solar, solar, electricity, panels, controllers, all this stuff can become very confusing. But um, once you get a system set up, it, it becomes very, very easy. It, you set it up and you're done for forever.